Well, tomorrow will be too late if you're trying to get ready for the dangerous flash flooding that we're expecting. Meteorologist Molly McCullum is live in Austell. And Molly, the community there is certainly no stranger to catastrophic conditions. We've seen massive flooding in that area years ago. This is an area that's notorious for flooding, and I want to show you why you can never underestimate the power of water. This is how much. This is 12 inches, one foot. This is how much it takes to sweep a car away. And I'm going to put this on the ground so you can see just how short that is. That doesn't even come up to my knee. And speaking of the ground, look how super saturated this is. We've seen waves and waves of heavy rain at this point, and the ground just can't take that much more water. But it's not just the ground. It's not just the soil. We're talking about swollen creeks and rivers. This is Sweetwater Creek. And just the time that we've been here for about an hour and a half, we've already seen this come up just a little bit. And in Austell, they are no stranger to catastrophic catastrophic flooding. In fact, any mention of flash flooding brings up the memories of the deadly flooding from 2009. That's when that was in September of 2009. That's when we saw 10 to 20 inches of rain in just about 24 hours, and that created some of the most catastrophic flooding that we've seen in recent history. And Austell was one of the hardest hit areas as Sweetwater Creek gushed to historic levels. We saw roads turning into rivers. We saw houses and schools completely underwater, and that caused about $193 million of damage. And unfortunately, in that event, about 10 people lost their lives. As we watch Sweetwater Creek this evening, this is just one of the many areas across Metro Atlanta that are under the risk of flash flooding. What makes this event so dangerous is that, of course, it's been raining all day. As it continues to rain, a lot of these creeks and rivers will rise overnight. And unfortunately, you just can't see the water over the roadways at night. In Austell, meteorologist Molly McCollum, CBS 46 News.